chairs and trashed tables, all caused by the driver of the van who police say plowed into a crowded corner restaurant in Mid City yesterday, then tried to slip away. CBS 2's Dave Lopez tracked down some of those people caught right in the middle of it. He's live with one woman's story. Dave? Well, Pat, when you uh, take a look at what happened here, I'm standing in the spot where that van uh, jumped the curb. It's amazing that no one was killed. Police have confirmed that that driver has been arrested for DUI. He was drunk. You're taking a look now at the skid marks. The uh, van rested up against the side of that building. And all of this area was filled with people who were enjoying a late Sunday afternoon lunch. Everybody's tried to run, but it came too fast. Morgan Davis nursing a broken bone in her right leg and numerous cuts and bruises on her left leg came back to the scene of where it all happened. I got knocked down from my hip, uh, fell to the floor, and just ran over my legs. Um, my shoes was off, my pants were tore up. I was just in pain. She was one of eight people hit by a van that either went through a red light or lost its brakes or was speeding. And detectives also confirmed late today the driver of that van was drunk. He just swerved and came right on the sidewalk and ran into the people. There were bodies sprawled all over the sidewalk. The most serious injured was a man identified as Mike, no last name. Witnesses said that he jumped over his five-year-old daughter when he saw the van coming and took the brunt of the hit, saving his daughter from serious injury. The owner of the fish spot, her name is City, did not want to go on camera, so the man's a true hero. He didn't hesitate, and without doing what he did, she said no doubt his little girl would have been crushed. I to see chaos. People screaming, I came out, I see a guy bleeding, I see ladies on the ground. Yeah. It was nasty. And witnesses told police that as paramedics were attending to the wounded, the driver, identified as Peter Good, tried to flee the scene. He headed down Pico towards this liquor store where, according to witnesses, people spotted him, grabbed him, and brought him back. It was crazy. I never seen a <laughs> like that. This security camera shows everything that happened. The van speeding through the intersection, going up on the sidewalk, and mowing down people. But the owner told me, in her opinion, it shows too much. It's too graphic. And that's why she chose not to release it. We all heard the tire screech, and we all look and just see the van just, just come off the curb and just drive into everybody. That, that is the security camera we're talking about. Now, the owners uh, allowed me to look at that video, and as I described, it is extremely graphic. It shows everything. It shows people frantically trying to get out of the way, and some people actually being literally flipped up into the air. As for the man who saved his daughter with his quick action, uh, his name is Mike. He had surgery on his brain this afternoon at Cedars, we are told. He is still listed as critical, but we are told that he is improving. Back to you in the studio.